Imagine if the past, present, and future version of you existed all at the same time. Right now. Could it be possible you are being born and passing away in this second of time? In a way, the answer to this question could be yes. How would that work? How would it be possible? How is time kept? Try to picture someone painting a picture. In each picture, there are millions of things happening all at once. All these things are happening in our universe in a single moment. Every moment brings out a multitude of events. Galactic civilizations are expanding, people are being born, some people are passing away, and you are missing the bus. However, our artist of the universe creates a new image to replace the previous one. You obtain something that resembles a movie in this way. There is only this instance that exists. What came before is the past, and it has passed away. The future is yet unknown and has not yet been sketched. This is how time feels, isn't it? The previous moment always takes its place. The future is non-existent, and the past is far behind us. Well, what if time is something else, though? What if all the drawings have been completed by our artist of the universe and are piled on top of one another? In this manner, we have a block, a large chunk of time containing the eternity of the universe. Every moment that has happened and will happen. Nevertheless, the past, present, and future are all equally real and present in this block and stack of moments. This doesn't seem right. The only things that seem genuine to us are those events that are just now taking place. In this moment, how are the past and the future real? The issue is that they sort of have to be in accordance with relativity theory. Relativity asserts, oversimplifying the situation, that time and space are not distinct. Only a single, interconnected space-time. You are going through space as you go through a chunk of time. This implies that, depending on how individuals move through space in relation to one another, time moves differently for each of them. Furthermore, this implies that a person's perception of right now is actually a certain section of that chunk of time, depending on how quickly they are going. There are several distinct nows in the cosmos all of which are equally genuine, so what you perceive to be now is actually just your own. There is no global past or future according to this as well. Okay, how does this work? This is a lot. A million light years away, picture three extraterrestrial spacecraft. The first one is stationary with respect to you. It merely hovers in space. The identical now, or present, is experienced by both of you. You could talk about extraterrestrial life right now via a video call if you had a miraculous instantaneous internet connection. At 30 kilometers a second, or almost three times faster than a human rocket, the second spacecraft is traveling away from us. It is traversing the time interval in a different way than you are. When mankind was initially finding galaxies outside of the Milky Way in 1924, Aliens could communicate with your ancestors over the magical internet. The third spacecraft is headed toward Earth and traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour while passing through the chunk of time at the opposite angle of the second spacecraft. It goes through another now. In the year 2124, when mankind has already established settlements on Mars and Venus, the aliens may communicate with your descendants thanks to the enchanted internet. Now that we have three distinct nows, which one is true? That, therefore, is the issue. The fundamental tenet of relativity is cosmic democracy, which holds that every observer's perspective is equally legitimate throughout the cosmos. Each of those nows needs to be just as genuine. However, if this is the case, then your past, present, and future must all exist simultaneously, right now. For the many alien species, everything takes place in their current reality. This implies that there is no real difference between the past, 
present, and future. The universe is a static block in which the past, present, and future all coexist and are real, rather than a collection of objects changing throughout time as in a motion picture. In what way is that possible? Imagine a galaxy that lies beyond our view, too far away for us to explore or see. It is real, nevertheless, even if you are unable to reach it or see it. The same may occur in the future. However, there is no movie if the past is not too distant from the present and the future is real. In the cosmos, things don't just happen. The cosmos just is like a solid block of cosmic ice that has all future events predetermined and written down. Is the future predetermined? In the event that all times coexist and are equally genuine, the future must always be written. But you don't see things that way. You get the impression that the choices you make will shape your future. It truly does feel as though you may decide not to watch YouTube in order to miss the bus. But you can't decide anything, though, if the future is predetermined. So are the decisions you make a mirage? All right. Perhaps. Perhaps you don't really have free will. Feel free to keep watching, as it's possible that your failure to catch the bus was predestined at the Big Bang. However, the world can alter due to quantum particles. Suppose a neighboring mammal has a genetic mutation due to a radioactive material that decays at random. And then, many years later, that mutation produced an odd, incomprehensible hybrid of a duck and a mammal. Alternatively, the strange creature won't exist if the atom decays a day later. Future events cannot be predicted if quantum mechanics are truly unpredictable. However, the future cannot be real in the same sense as the past if it is an untold narrative. What transpires then when improbable events such as the atom's disintegration do occur? Is that the current moment? Is this the now? However, prior to that, we saw that cosmic democracy precludes the definition of an absolute now. Why is this happening? It turns out that the past, present, and future are always clearly defined for every single item, including you, aliens, and atoms. Your death will never occur before or simultaneously with your birth. It will always occur after. It is obvious that you are currently between your birth and your death. Thus, now makes perfect sense, at least for you. When we stop playing games like traveling to the other side of the universe and utilizing extraterrestrials in bizarre ways to figure out what now actually means, things once more begin to appear tidy and orderly, and several nows appear to exist. Can we work with them in any way? Now let's go back to the chunk universe. It is possible that the future is not included in the chunk and that our perception of it was incorrect. Perhaps the present is simply a thin layer on the surface, and the chunk is just the past. That is, an uneven, lumpy surface rather than a smooth one. It has been created by uniting innumerable distinct nows that are equally real and legitimate and experienced by someone or something in the cosmos. Cosmic democracy still holds true since every spectator contributes in some way. New events take place, things that were before unclear become certain, radioactive atoms decay, animal species emerge, people miss the bus, and the boundary of the cosmos shifts higher, giving rise to new time. Rather than being a fixed chunk of time with the predetermined future, the block is expanding as events take place. You are once more in charge of your destiny. Perhaps depart early to ensure you don't miss the bus. Let's review. We begin by reviewing time as a series of nows in which only the present now was genuine. Then we discovered that, according to relativity, there are several nows, all of which are real in some way. This finding raises the possibility that we are living in a world made of frozen chunks in which nothing happens and there is no such thing as free choice. In the end, 
we had a world akin to a developing chunk of universe where time moves on and the future is wide open. Which is then accurate? What is actual? The time right now? The past? Do the dinosaurs exist today just as much as you do? What thoughts are there about all this among the aliens on the opposite side of the universe? Sincerely, nobody is aware. Although these are the two ways that we know now how to define time, there are more. According to some scientists, the concept of now solely applies to the immediate environment and has no bearing on the cosmos. Some believe that time is an illusion created by our minds and that time itself doesn't really exist. Others, on the other hand, believe that although time exists, it is not a fundamental aspect of the universe. Rather, they believe that time arises from a deeper level of reality, in the same way that heat arises from the motion of individual molecules, or life arises from the interactions of inanimate proteins. We could continue, but won't you be missing the bus soon? Make sure you like and subscribe the channel for more interesting facts and topics. Talk to you again soon.